Hey YouTube, it's your boy Nduru, back with another video about Fanny Willis. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, cause this is a banger. Shout out to Doug. Yeah, go check his videos. Let's let's hear what they're saying, bro. There is brand new Fanny Willis video dropped in an interview this weekend. And of course, it's her just spewing lies. I don't think she Boy. says one thing that's true, but it's very telling. And I'm going to do a quick oh, catch up on Harrison Floyd, the only black defendant of Trump's co-defendants in um, this whole case. I think he's kind of been forgotten. I want to give him a little bit of media here but first right Bonnie Willis, right. welcome to doug in exile I shout out to, to doug. subscribe get us over the next hump i want you in our gang i want you in our group i want you marching with us all the way to the election this fall i don't feel like my reputation needs to be reclaimed let's say it for the record i'm not embarrassed by anything i've done so we're going to start with her lack of embarrassment and boy this lady, she has no, this is the definition of no shame. This is hubris. No shame. Uh, she has no remorse. Um, you know, I guess my greatest crime is I had a relationship with a man. but That's one way of putting it. Does this look like, you know, every, I have some daughters and I dream of them having a relationship with a man. Is this what any father dreams of their daughter doing that is hilarious that she would go, you have to go all the way back to so general. No, Fonny, we're not uh, pursuing you. You're not guilty of having a relationship with a man, you idiot. She's trying to be obtuse and vague. And this is, once again, this is how liars do it. You go all the way out, you start making these kinds of statements. She's a good, she's a good liar. That's not something that I find embarrassing in any way. Um, and I know that I have not done anything that's illegal. And there's another thing that lawyers always do. Well, they're hiding behind, you know, well, it might be immoral, but it's not illegal. I didn't do anything illegal. Um, yeah, you did. You, you spent money on a Caribbean cruise, taxpayer dollars, my uh, Caribbean cruise. Uh, now, our court may not be smart enough to figure it out. But the rest of the entire world, anyone who has a brain rolling around in their head could figure it out. And so I don't feel like my reputation needs to be reclaimed. Yeah, you never had a reputation in the first place. So. <laughs> and when I tell you the outpouring of women, um, and I'll tell you this, especially African-American women who will just say, we are so proud. You are such a good representative of us. I, I want all of the African-American women out there to know I do not cast aspersions on you by associating you with Fonnie Willis just because of your skin color. That would be stupid and racist and disgusting. Right. So I want all y'all, all you ladies out there to know, I don't think you're like Fonnie Willis. And she's going like, I'm a, I'm leadership now. She's taking the charter. She's going, I'm your poster girl. Any African-American women out there happy that this is your brand? But I would be lying to say it's only African-American women. I have had Caucasian women. Oh, it's white women too. The Caucasians. The white women have been coming out of the woodwork saying, Fonnie Willis, you're just a great. Well, now she's the poster girl for white women. She's like the new Rosie the Riveter on the poster of what womanhood is. Asian women, Indian women. I didn't hear her mention any trans women. Are any trans women calling you up and asking if you're a hero for their movement, Fani? Um, I told Jeff one day, I didn't think I was the face of the feminist movement, but somehow I became it. Oh yeah, I love this too. B. Arthur, the golden girls, the feminists. Uh, women need a man like a fish need a bicycle. This is your poster girl. I do dislike feminists enough to hang Fonnie Willis. This is what your movement is, feminist. Your home wrecker movement is a woman can just go pursue a man who's married and after his wife raised the children, you just steal him, go out on Caribbean cruises. The man can be totally uh, inept to do his job and you get him a million dollars. This is the pinnacle of feminism, this is the suffragettes. Not, I think that women feel like women are treated differently when they're professionals. Funny Willis, to my knowledge, was not treated differently than men. Look how Nathan Wade, he's the one that had to step down 
If anyone is treated differently, it's we hold men to a higher account than you because Nathan Wade stepped down and you got to stay. So how is that sexist now? How is this a woman's thing, if anything? And they're proud to see someone that is strong and um, trying to do the right job. I don't want my daughters to think that being strong is having indiscriminate love affairs and making all this money and grifting taxpayers and coming out and being just mean and coarse with your words and arrogant and pig-headed and non-repentant. That's not strength. That's not how my mama does it, okay? My mom is a strong woman. Bonnie Willis, you're weak. Certainly flawed, <laughs> Y'all weak. like every human being is flawed. And now she's hiding behind this, hey, I'm flawed like everybody, but you wouldn't admit to anything uh, in court. She would not publicly ever say anything. She just very generally, again, this is how liars do it. You're going, hey, we're all flawed. I agree, first of all, we're all flawed. But be specific, what is the flaw? Are your opponents, is there anything that they've spoken? She's done nothing but defend herself in a church and said she's done nothing wrong. She said half of it is. And then now she comes in with this, well, I'm not, now she's going to go into her, Jesus was, uh, was crucified for being perfect. Um, my father has a saying, only one perfect man walked the face of the earth and they crucified him. Yeah, and you should repent to, that, uh, to Jesus who was crucified for your sins. I am not a perfect human being, but what I am is a hardworking human being and a human being that loves the community I serve. Anybody believe that? I don't think she's hardworking. I don't think she prosecutes and goes after criminals uh, in Fulton County. I think she's a disaster. I think she's lazy and I think she's a grifter. And who understands this seat does not belong to me. It belongs to the people. And as long as I'm here, I'm going to try to do the job in a way that's honorable. And if this is the definition of honorable in public, this is an embarrassment, a public embarrassment. Now let's get to our man Harrison Floyd. That's right. His biggest guilt is being black and not being called George Floyd. Harrison Floyd gets forgotten, destroyed, his reputation tarnished. He has been unfairly treated, I believe, because he's a black conservative and does not. And so he's the one guy. We're circling him down here. And I want to give him a voice. Here's his Twitter feed this weekend, Harrison Floyd. Georgia lied about the 2020 election. The White House Department of Justice and Georgia rhinos, that's Kemp, want me kept silent because I know the truth. I do want to document what he has said in public. It's important for me to document these legal statements on this channel. This is what Harrison Floyd has said. And then we just document that he's the only one being especially persecuted out of all of these Trump defendants. Here's the bullet points, let's go over them together. That's, this is according to Harrison Floyd, that's why I'm the only one not offered pre-negotiated bond. He was the only one jailed, the only one denied bond and lawyer, the only one that district attorney attempted to revoke bond, and the only one not notified about a bond modification. Now I only wanna know, if every other time that a black person is treated unfairly in this country, it is some kind of an indictment against the system about systemic racism. Where are the black civil rights leaders coming out in defense of Harrison Floyd? You're a fraud, Al Sharpton. You're a fraud, Jesse Jackson. You're all a fraud. All of Black Lives Matter is a fraud. DA Fannie Willis is a fraud proclaiming it was racism that we brought it out against her. What about this one guy? I see only one black defendant, and he's the <laughs> only one who got jailed. Where are the black civil rights leaders? Where's the ACLU? Where's the NAACP? They're liars. They're grifters. They have no interest in justice for the black man. If he was a Democrat on the other side, They'd all come out for him because it was always only about grifting for Democrats and nothing to do with the civil rights that they claim. Let's go to the court case with Judge McAfee completely confused at how utterly corrupt Georgia's voting system is. The Blue Crest sorting and signature verification machine would take the ballot envelope and scan it and create an image of it. Image appears on screen with a signature exemplar and the two are compared that way. Okay. So my understanding is now the Blue Crest sorting and signature verification machine 
was not working or no we just we didn't use it so this is McCarthy getting information from the two the lawyers uh these are uh floyd's uh side and they're talking about well the machines you know they scan image and McCarthy's going like well they were they were they were working they weren't working and he goes no no they were working we just didn't use them which makes the votes illegal legally that's not my opinion they did they do they did not use that not use it so for the item you're requesting to obtain for the scans of all the outer envelopes they're gonna have to they would have to rescan those again is what we're hearing well it sounds like they weren't they were never scanned to begin with and so and look that's McAfee going well we can rescan these images i mean they were lost but now we can rescan them he goes oh oh no son oh no judge they were never scanned in the first place you don't rescan them they've never been scanned once I don't know. Unless so they do, were scanned, I want the scanned version. Right. That they had on that day. So, are there any, are there any documents in the county's possession of these items having already been scanned? Not that I'm aware of, but I can check at headquarters and see if they do have it. You know, it's McCaffrey going. Has hey, has anything been scanned? He's trying to throw them a bone. I mean, you can at least lie to me in this court and say they were scanned, so we can buy some time and go looking for them. Right there. Uh, I'm not aware of any votes being scanned. And McAfee's put it together in his head going, wait a minute, that makes them illegal votes. And that makes everything Harrison Floyd said, right. So why is Harrison Floyd going to jail? Okay. So the difference here is not so much that there's a total new rescanning. It's what was scanned and is still in your possession from that day. Well, are we, are we, are we making the distinction here? Nothing was scanned, Your Honor. Holy smokes. What? Nothing was scanned? Yes. Nothing was scanned. Do you know why Harrison Floyd went to jail? Because Harrison Floyd told the truth. Okay. So we're absolutely clear. We're talking about the outer return envelopes in November 2020. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, so we're completely screwed in public now and he does nothing publicly exposed this is what we're shouting at this is what we're saying is ridiculous Fonnie willis is out walking around going i did nothing you jailed harrison floyd you sicko you sick exile you sick <laughs> hey you too make sure you comment what you think about this video just comment down below and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe for more updates. See you guys in the next video. Boom!